Let's begin. In order to tow a trailer, a truck must be able to charge it with air and transmit brake signals to it. Two air hoses extend between the tractor and the trailer to fulfill this function. They are called the trailer supply and trailer service lines. The opening and closing of these two lines during normal and emergency operation is controlled by the tractor protection system, which is composed of two valves. There are a number of different valves that can be used. In this program, we'll look at the most basic and popular, the TP3 tractor protection valve and a control called the PP7 trailer supply valve. Mounted at the rear of the cab, the TP3 tractor protection valve functions as an on-off control for the service line which carries brake applications from the tractor to the trailer. The TP3 is a simple valve internally and consists of a body, the plunger with its integral service valve, and a spring. There are four air connections on the TP3, the tractor supply and tractor service ports on one side and trailer supply and trailer service ports on the opposite side of the body. Each is identified with cast-in lettering. Air exerts a force on the plunger as it flows through the TP3 from the tractor supply to the trailer supply port on its way to the trailer air system. When air pressure on the plunger exceeds approximately 45 psi, the plunger moves opening the service inlet valve. With the service valve open, brake application pressure is free to flow from the tractor to the trailer brake system. The other half of the team, the PP7 trailer supply valve, is mounted on the vehicle dash and is easily distinguished by its red octagonal control button. The PP7 controls the flow of supply air to the TP3 and subsequently to the trailer. In addition, it synchronizes the tractor protection system with the tractor parking system. One button parking control is thus achieved. Like the PP1, the PP7 button must be pushed in manually, but will pop out and exhaust automatically if the air supply drops below approximately 40 psi. Supply pressure of 50 psi or greater assures that the button will remain in until manually pulled or supply pressure drops below 40 psi. The PP7 is a combination of two pressure sensitive on-off control valves in one body. The upper portion is almost identical to the PP1 push-pull control we studied in part three of this series, while the lower half contains an SV1 synchro valve. The upper half of the PP7 consists of a control button, plunger, spring, and inlet exhaust valve. The lower half contains a piston, piston return spring, inlet exhaust valve, and valve spring. In addition to an exhaust vent and exhaust port, the PP7 body has three air connections, supply port, delivery port, and control port. The supply port is connected to the same double check valve that supplies the PP1 park control. It is therefore assured a constant supply of air pressure regardless of a failure in one of the service reservoirs. The delivery of the PP7 is connected to the tractor supply port of the TP3 and the control port is connected to the delivery of the PP1 trailer release valve. With the vehicle parked and no air pressure in the system, the PP7 control button is out. The inlets of both valves inside the PP7 are closed and the exhausts are open. 
When tractor system pressure builds to 50 PSI or greater, the PP7 can be depressed and will remain in. With the plunger inlet open and the exhaust closed, air flows from the supply port to the closed synchro valve inlet. The synchro valve piston remains down due to a lack of air pressure at the control port. The PP7 delivery port remains open to exhaust. When the PP1 park control is depressed, air pressure simultaneously releases the tractor spring brakes and is delivered to the PP7 control port. Air pressure at the PP7 control port moves the synchro valve piston, sealing its exhaust passage and opening the inlet valve. Air from the push-pull section of the PP7 flows past the open synchro valve inlet and out the delivery port, then through the TP3 to charge the trailer reservoirs. If tractor air system pressure falls to approximately 40 PSI during vehicle operation, the PP7 button will pop out. Air from the trailer's supply line is exhausted at the PP7. This preserves the last 40 PSI of tractor air pressure and causes the trailer parking brakes to apply. Note that the synchro piston remains unaffected. If the PP7 button is held in and tractor air pressure has dropped to approximately 20 PSI, the synchro piston automatically moves into the exhaust position. Although the driver continues to hold the button down, the trailer supply line is exhausted and trailer parking brakes are fully applied. During a trailer breakaway or a sudden complete trailer supply line failure, the PP7 button will pop out automatically. The tractor air system will retain between 40 PSI and full system pressure depending upon the location and severity of the failure. Air escaping from the failed supply line cannot be replaced through the PP7 supply port as fast as it's lost. This causes pressure inside the PP7 to drop below the 40 PSI pop-out pressure even though supply port pressure is much higher. Because of the synchro valve section in the PP7, the tractor protection system is linked to the tractor parking brakes. To park a tractor-trailer combination, the PP1 park control is pulled out. Air is exhausted from the tractor spring brakes and from the PP7 control port. With no air pressure at the PP7 control port, the synchro valve piston moves, seating the inlet valve and opening the exhaust passage between the PP7 delivery and exhaust ports. Air from the trailer supply line returns to the PP7 and is exhausted, causing the trailer parking brakes to apply. Note that the PP7 button remains in. This is due to the PP7 synchro valve exhausting the trailer supply line. Pushing the PP1 park control in releases the tractor parking brakes and delivers air to the PP7 control port. This causes the synchro valve piston to close its exhaust and open the inlet. The trailer supply line is recharged and the trailer parking brakes release. To disconnect the tractor and trailer, the operator must pull the PP7 button. Pulling the button closes the plunger inlet and unseats the exhaust valve. Air that was flowing out the delivery port returns to the PP7 and exhausts from its vent. Test the tractor protection system by pulling the PP7 out and making and holding a brake application. Apply a soap solution to the trailer's service and supply line hose couplings to see if the TP3 or PP7 is leaking. Our basic tractor system is almost complete, but before moving on, we